on, go big. Oh, I was expecting that. Hi, it's Shane here from the Mental Health Gamers Network. Today I'm going to do some mindful gazing or mindful dodging in Elden Ring. Um, so I'm kind of back here. I've lined up a room bear behind me and I'm essentially going to try and dodge around him and have a bit of a closer look to see what he looks like. Kind of get an idea of scale, get an idea of other things as well, which kind of helps when you're looking with mindful gazing. Ask myself some questions about textures, how he moves, that kind of stuff. And basically I'm going to try and do it while staying alive and then when I feel like I've seen everything I might go in for the kill or I'll summon a uh, teaching to do it for me really. So first thing you can see is that the hair on him looks a bit more pixelated than I kind of imagined. Might not even, oh I am going to have to fight him, okay. So you can see he's got the face of sort of like a normal size bear really but it's just put on a much bigger body. The hair looks better when he's not scratching the tree. Um, as he moves, he keeps his hind legs down and uses big kind of pounding front paws. Uh, I have set fire to the world tree, which is why there's lots of ash and embers flying everywhere. Um, he's got a couple more moves I didn't realize he had going side to side. Oh, fell in the pounding one there. You can see there's kind of patterns on his chest which don't seem to be on his back or his arms. So the same colour though, so it looks like kind of the underfur almost. Um, see if I can get him to rise up and give me a good look at that. Go on, go big. Oh, I was expecting that. See the curls at the top. I just want to see if I can get him to do that big lunging move again. No, not that one. Come on. There we go. Okay. So, oh, and I'm in a bear hug now. So, oh, actually, this is a good place to see them. You can see it kind of tails down and tails off middle rather than kind of carrying on going so I thought there'd be more runes on the body. Um, so yeah I suppose the main thing looking at here is the size of the head compared to the rest of it. it doesn't seem as interesting I'd say as the um, oh, sorry, tree spirit that we did this last time with. But yeah you definitely, the texture's definitely improved he comes down from the tree. It's not like it's laying out, but it looks pretty good. So, I'm sort of done with him now. Let's see if I can get some far away stuff from him. How does he look at this? sort of see the scale of him. He's definitely smaller than the ulcerated tree spirit, but I think most things are. Still... I don't know. I think I always expected with the aggression of Broombeds that they're bigger than they actually are. I don't know if that makes sense. The way he moves... A bit like a gallop, but not quite. kind of cumbersome moves. He runs fast, but apart from that, there doesn't seem to be much else going for. Have a good look at the uh, lights and the lines from Keisha's attack. Yeah, 
There he goes. There's the ash. The smoke as he fades away. So that was a bit of an up close look. That was a bit of an up close look at teachers, wasn't it? That was a bit of an up close look at a room there. See teachers tag it there, looks pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, not necessarily as impressive up close as I expected, but still kind of the movements, the aggression. You can kind of see the rolls on the arms as he's lunging forward, stays on the back of his hind legs. Um, and like I say, the main thing that kind of stuck with me is the fact that his head is about the size of a regular bear's head, just stuck in a really big body, which is kind of makes things feel a bit skewed in a way. Anyway. That's all from me today. Um, if you want to get in touch, just email us at mentalhealthgamersnetwork at gmail.com. If you would like to kind of say which things we should kind of dodge around and do mindful gazing with next, uh, just drop them in the comment section below. And yeah, that's all from me, and I will see you again soon. Bye.